<laughs> Hi everyone, we're here to talk about Daughter of Smoke and Bone and convince you to start this trilogy because it was awesome. I'm Jessica. And I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tomes. Tomes. So, we just read this as part of our In Real Life book club pick for the month of September and yes. guys... It was so good. So good. And I yeah, was pleasantly surprised. Me too, because neither one of us had any desire to pick this book up. <laughs> no. Uh, because it sounded cliche, um, demons and angels, YA, falling in love, opposite sides, we're at war, but we must be together. Oh mm. no. Uh, it's kind of like that, but not like that. Um, it turned out to be, like, take, take that story and make it way more creative and interesting and the writing style was beautiful. beautiful. I didn't feel like it was dumbed down at all for uh, like 13 year olds. It being YA and stuff like that, yeah. It was, it was beautiful. Yeah. I thought the writing was really good, it was really interesting and I was hooked and especially the first 200 pages I was just like, yes, 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 I yes. I was too. And for this being a story that is told time and time again as far as angels and demons kind of thing, mm. this was done in a very creative way. Star-crossed lovers, if you yeah. will. Yeah. It, it was, was done very... very creatively. Yes. And so I didn't get tired of it or bored of it, and it was new to me, mm -hmm. is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yes. I gave it four or four and a half stars. I gave it five stars. Which is awesome. And we both want to continue with the series. Yeah, we do. Ugh. I just fell in love with the characters. I fell in love with the worlds, which in, in reality you have three worlds here. You have Earth, you have uh, Chimera, which are human animal mm -hmm. crosses, yeah. which are the demons yeah. of the world, and then you have the angel world. Mm -hmm. Well, the... The angels and the demons, they have their own one world. But oh, they, yeah. It's like territories. They live separately, yeah. and it's they're completely different. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> but I will say that even um, the human non-magic world is um, it's set in Prague, and it still feels like super magical and interesting. Yeah, it does. I think she does a very good job of interweaving... The plot and things that happen, but also descriptions of Prague and places and things like that. Like, it's not overwhelming. Because there's also Marrakesh is in this story. And so you get... She travels, the main character does a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes um, people are a little nervous about, you know, fantasy. Whatevs. Um, and this is not one to to be that way. Anyway, uh, fantasy I think this would be a is right really, up our alley. Yeah, and I think this would be a really good, like, intro into fantasy book. I agree. Because, like, I mean, we usually read pretty high fantasy, like Game of Thrones or the Mistborn trilogy or things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Others. <laughs> but this was one that was so well done that it's, like, almost doesn't feel like fantasy. Like, Lord of the Rings kind of, you know, it's just, it's got its own... Yeah, so on, it's urban fantasy. Yeah, and it's just, I think this would be a really good one for people who, I don't like fantasy, or I haven't really read it, or, yeah. I think this would be a good one. I agree. You're welcome. Uh, this is one that I think, the less you know about it, the cooler it is, because everything is sort of a mystery, and you don't know what it's all about, but it's really cool, and you want to learn more about it. Anyway... We think you should read this book. If you have read it, come watch our discussion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have read this whole series, we'd love to know if it's worth continuing. Yeah. We're probably going to do that anyway, so whatever. Your opinion doesn't matter, <laughs> but tell us it anyway. I don't know what else to say. When you play the game of tomes, <laughs> you... Oh. <laughs> when you play the game of tomes... You read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links will be in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye.